So let's look at uh, problem 726. Uh, for homework, uh, you're going to be doing part D. I'm going to do part A as an example here. And these are logic expressions. So this is not multiplication. This is actually A and B and C, or A and not B. So it says write a truth table for each of these Boolean expressions. So if we look at the homework handout, you'll see that uh, problem number three, you're actually doing part D. And I want you to do part D in this space. But uh, I'm going to work uh, part A so you can see how it's going to go uh, in this video. So here I have D is equal to A and B and C or A and not B. So you begin uh, this uh, truth table by basically counting in binary. So you have your basically inputs over here, A, B, and C, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and so forth. And so when you count in binary, that's the number 3. And here's number 4. Well, that's not the number four. That's the number four, number five, six, and seven. I like to break them up into pieces like this so that uh, if you look at A and B and C, so now these are, you know, this is input columns, but now I'm doing a logic statement here or a logic evaluation of A and B and C. And these are going to be just all zeros until all of the uh, inputs are one. And then that's what the AND means, A and B and C. The next thing that we'll need is actually not B. Perhaps you can imagine why we might need something like that when you look at this second term over here. And that means that whatever B is in this uh, column, you do the opposite of it, of it over here. Like so, and then you can do A and not B. That means you got to look at these two columns when you're evaluating this column here. So what we do is we say is A and not B on here, and the answer is no. So we only want to put a one in this column if this is a one and the A column is a one. So again, it's not there, not there, not there. And then we see that we do have a 1 and a 1 here. So it's a 1, 1, 0, 0. And then lastly, what we want to do is put all of this together and say A, B, C, or A and not B. So now what we want to do is take this column right there in this column right there, and we want to OR them together this time. So we have to think of OR in our head as we're doing this. So this OR that, the answer is no. Is this one OR this one one? No, no, no. And then we get to yes, yes, uh, no, and then yes. And that means that if we want to be really clear about this, that D is equal to that. Alright, so make sure that you do part D. In this space, I've done part A here.